Let's do this. <laughs> it's November 5th, 1955. Flux capacitor gets invented, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Red letter day in the history Red of science. Red letter day in the history of science. science. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I mean. So if you had a DeLorean and could go back and change a sporting moment, what would it be? 844-204, Rich, number to dial. I'll do a music moment. Okay. Oh. All right. That's good. I appreciate that since that's more near and dear to your heart. Exactly. Okay. Because you were going to start choosing prior to the show when we started talking about it. You were I mean, saying things that are not near and dear to your heart. Like you would go back in time and tell Pete Cowell to run the ball. Like you're not a Seattle fan. But it would have been great if. But you Mark just hate the Patriots and you didn't like seeing that in person. And that has that that is not the, the spirit of this uh, construct right now. <laughs> what would yours be, TJ Jefferson? If you hopped in, if you could go in a DeLorean and set a date and go back into history, what would it be? I, I don't have the exact date, but yes. I have the year. It would yes. be, you know. 1993, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd go to Dallas, Fort Worth area, wherever they're at. I would sit Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson down at a table across from me and just tell them, look, guys, get your act together because things are going to go downhill very quickly for us if you don't. Get your damn act together. I try to make Jerry and Jimmy kind of, you know, make sure everything was copacetic so we could keep winning Super Bowls. Because you've seen what happened since he left. How about them Cowboys? Look at him. He's on his That's drop game right there. Disrespectful. That's a good one, though. What about you, uh, Chris? What would your moment well, be? Well, my moment, guys, would be Thursday, October 16th, 2003, Bronx, New York, Yankee Stadium in particular. Eighth inning. Red Sox leading. I would go into the dugout. <laughs> And I would do everything in my powers to convince Grady Little to take Pedro out. Don't have him start the inning. I like it. Don't listen to what he says. I know he's a gamer. He was the great, one of the greatest of all time. He wants to go out there for the eighth. I totally understand it. Lift but you say, Pedro, you hide his glove, you take his jersey and his hat and his cleats off, and you <laughs> say, your day is done. Red Sox go to the World Series and the curse in 2003 instead of 2004. And then we have an epic dynasty that still carries on. Very good. I like it. Oh, except for the fact that it benefited the Yankees. I mean, but so, I like it. I, I mean, we, you know, Rich, we had enough at that point. Thank no, you, Mike. Please. Thank no, 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 no. Come on. You, Greed Mike. for the lack of a better word is good. Thanks. Come I on. I have his phone right Let's here. Let's keep yeah. water skiing behind yachts, certainly when it comes to the expense of the Boston Red Sox. But I appreciate your moxie. understand. Can you give me the little twinkle? Get me in the mood here. Get me in the little mood here. <laughs> I'd get in my DeLorean, and I'd hop in the front seat, and I would set the date for April 5th, 1993. Ooh. You get that music one more time? April Ooh. 5th, 1993, and I would go to the New Orleans Superdome. Ooh. And I'd, I'd go behind the bench of the Michigan Wolverines, oh, and I'd look at number four. I'd say, Chris, we're out of timeouts. Even if Pat Sullivan misses this free throw and you rebound it, don't call timeout. We're down two. Back to the future. Thank you. That would be mine. Oh, man. A fab five ready to roll. Or at least the ball to try and take the lead. So, of course, I don't even want to go there. Yeah. Mine. Yes, yours Goes is what? a little fab too. The Fab Four. I would sit the Beatles down. Oh, <laughs> oh, yep. And I'd be like, "You guys are gonna be one day. You already are now. Yes, the <laughs> greatest band <laughs> of all time. Just get it together. <laughs> Let bygones be bygones, and just stick together <laughs> for another." How many years? Yeah, sure. Just and do don't get over the yes. BS. Right. Tell Get it together, and you're already the best band and right. musicians of all time. Now you just, Mount Rushmore is Mount Fab Four. And do you think the uh, four kids from Liverpool would say, what the hell is this Jamoke doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> this bloke, Jamoke. <laughs> <laughs> bloke, yeah. McCartney's already even thinking about wings, you know? <laughs> John and John's in John love. And John, Just imagine. John's in love. John's, in love. John's like running off with Yoko, and you're like, guys, guys. Okay, listen. One day <laughs> you're going to be great. Be great. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you already are. You already are. Fantastic. Mike Del Tufo <sighs> going back in the DeLorean. Can't be any better. Del Tufo, you're the best. 
Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.